Hey, I'm Jeff with Stretch, and today we're going to show you how to do some partner stretches for areas that are harder to get on your own. So the first thing we're going to do is target the chest. So there's three variations of uh, stretch we could do here. The first is Vanessa's going to interlace her fingers and put her hands behind the head. So ideally, this is going to be done in a chair like we have here. The back of the chair will keep them stable as we do these. So we're going to start here, um, elbows to the face, and then shoulder blades contracted to come back. Okay, your hands are gonna be to assist on the inside of the elbows. All right, and this is gonna help target the pec minor, a smaller muscle group in the chest. This is a good place to start. After that, she can bring her hands forward, so they're facing each other like she's gonna clap. And same thing, so contract the shoulder blades and swing the hands back. And then we're gonna reset forward. So these muscles are fan-shaped in nature, so you could change the angles here. The more higher you go, the more intense it's going to be. If it is too intense, then we can just always lower them and start there. All right, we'll do one more. So your hands are again going to be inside the elbow to assist. Be aware that it will make it more intense if you go higher, so just go nice and slow with the progression. Third, the hands are going to be at the side, so palms still facing each other, but now the, um, your partner's hands will be behind them, and you're going to lift up and come back. So this is going to get more into the anterior deltoid front of the shoulder. You still may feel the chest, that's fine. This is a great way to bring the shoulders back into neutral, which oftentimes we are seeing them folding forward with this kyphosis, chest falling forward, shoulders falling forward. This is a good way to reverse that. All right, so that's the three stretch series for the chest and the shoulders. Next, she's just gonna jump down onto the bed. And so next, to get the hamstrings, you could just simply have your partner lay on a couch or a bed or on the floor even. First thing you wanna do is just grasp their heel and the other hand's gonna go just above the knee on the lower quad. So some light resistance just to keep that leg straight. And you're gonna press and get some leverage with the heel to stretch the hamstring. So they should feel this in the back of the leg. If it is too intense, just make sure you progress nice and slow. Okay, one more. Good. If your partner does have a bad back, you can always relax the leg like so. This will help round the back out, and you'll actually see the range of motion is much greater here when you do something like that. Okay? If you do need to add some intensity to it, what you can do is grab the leg opposite to you, and we're gonna externally rotate that, so you'll see from the hip down to the foot, the leg is rolling outward. And then we're gonna come across, still leg straight, but now a little bit more of a diagonal movement across the midline. Okay, this will be more intense than the last stretch, so it's only appropriate for people that are really requiring some added intensity. You should feel this kind of anywhere down the leg, into the hip or low back. And make sure you're resetting fully in between each rep, so that'll help relax the area that's gonna work with you when you're trying to do a stretch. And we're gonna do one more. Um, Vanessa's gonna sit up for that, so her heels are gonna be right at the edge of the table. Knees are soft. Okay, so this is gonna be the forward reacher, oftentimes harder to get on your own. You're gonna have your partner tuck the chin to the chest, reach their arms out straight, and fall down. So that added assistance will really add a lot of intensity to the stretch. It often also doesn't take much at the same time. Help them back up and down. So if you are again on an elevated surface with your partner, you can have them put their heels over the edge like Vanessa's, have their knees bent slightly. This could also obviously be done on a flat surface like a floor. Good. And if they do have a lot of tension and tightness in their body and they're feeling like the legs may be getting in the way here, what you can do is just encourage them to scoop forward. So let's try that. So they're just gonna scoop forward to bring their feet onto the floor so they can get towards the edge of the 
bed, couch, whatever you might be sitting on. And then all you have to do is the same exact movement here. So chin down, arms out straight. And you'll see the movement will be a lot greater because you're taking the legs out of the equation. All right, this is gonna get those trunk back extensors, muscles throughout the back along the spine. And we'll do one more. Good. That's the quick and easy partner stretch series for stretches that are usually harder to get on your own. Thanks for joining us. Stay loose and so long.